I literally tested at 10 days post ovulation and I had the faintest line ever. <music> everybody it is Tuesday today and I am in my car because guess why because I'm at my son's counseling session and I sit out here in the car because I usually can like have more peace and quiet than sitting in the room in the waiting room for him so I just wait out here um anyways I just kind of wanted to catch you guys up on what's been going on in this two-week wait and you guys today we are five days past transfer so five dpt so we're five days past a five day transfer for those of you that don't know what that means so if you add those two together so it was a five day embryo and we're five days past so if you were actually you just got pregnant naturally without ivf this would be equivalent to 10 days post ovulation so these are some of the symptoms that she has shared with me that she's been having. And I don't know, like some of these could probably be because of the progesterone and some of these could probably be just estrogen or whatever. Um, so she's been telling me um, like her boobs are really sore. Um, they're, I, I know when I was pregnant they were really sore. Um, she's also said that they're like the veins are more prominent and I remember having that as well as an early pregnancy symptom um, today she shared with me that her nose like was a little bit like of dry blood in her nose I guess like I guess it's been bleeding or irritated or whatever and I've heard that can be an early symptom of pregnancy just because your blood vessels are so like enlarged that they are more sensitive and prone to like bleeding which is why some women, when they're pregnant, they're, they brush their teeth and their gums bleed. Um, so, yeah, we're still just waiting and waiting and waiting. It feels like this is taking forever. And I know it's not because in a normal pregnancy, it's like people have to wait like 14 days. And we have to wait 10. So, with my own pregnancy, though, it was more like... I literally tested at 10 days post ovulation and I had the faintest line ever and my husband still thought I was crazy because I was doing that and yeah I kind of was crazy I was POAS crazy for those of you that don't know what POAS means it's pee on a stick addict actually it means pee on a stick just so you know so yeah, we're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and just hoping, you know, just like praying that this little one sticks and all is well. Um, again, we won't have our first official beta until this Sunday, March 11th, and which means we probably won't even find out any results until next week sometime, like Monday or Tuesday, probably Monday, I would say latest Tuesday, but probably Monday. Um... So yeah, I mean, it's just nuts. It's just absolutely nuts that like, we're at this point where we just have to wait and wait and wait. Um, I've asked my sister-in-law, you know, like how she feels right now. And she's like, I said like, do you feel pregnant? And she's like, yes. And then I try not to get myself too excited because the progesterone and oil can also cause that and the estrogen can also cause that, so. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, I also wanted to share with you guys that the um, the the numerology, like the ones that I've been seeing lately, um, is that on my finger now? The ones that I've been seeing lately are everywhere, like everywhere. Um, today, my mom got like paperwork from um, like something that came in the mail for my grandparents and the date was November 11th November 2011 so 11 11 you guys like that's insane and everywhere I look there's like 11s 11s like ones ones and I try not to get like too hopeful about anything I just I see those as like angel numbers and like a sign that like this could be a good sign, you guys. And we transplanted the number, or we implanted the number one embryo on March 1st. 
so I don't know at one o'clock I don't know if this like excuse me if the number numerology is like telling me like giving me good signs I don't know I'm just very hopeful I don't think I've ever prayed this hard before. Like I'm just praying. I know that all of you are out there praying for us and we are so grateful for all the extra prayers that you guys are giving our family. And just know that like they're, every single time that somebody says like we're praying for you, like it's just another blessing for us. And um, it actually helps like kind of rid like a weight off of me. Like somebody else is praying for us. Like they're thinking about us. There's extra prayers, you know? So thank you guys. I just want to thank you guys for that. And yeah, so we're just trying to keep on. It's only Tuesday and we have it till Sunday. Well, Monday probably because Sunday's the weekend. The doctor's not going to be there. So hopefully we can hang on. I know we can. It's just, ugh, I hate the wait. Um, so yeah, I just want to report that to you guys because um, I know a lot of people don't usually share their two week wait like symptoms but I just kind of wanted to tell you guys what um the early early symptoms are so yeah let's just cross our fingers <laughs> um sorry this is such a short update you guys but I don't really have anything else to report like that's it so if you guys could just keep praying please just keep praying keep us in your thoughts keep us in your prayers and like I said we'll share with you um the results of our test as soon as we get it um probably the day after we get the results so if we get them on monday we're probably gonna tell you until tuesday um just because like good or bad like we just want to like be able to process everything and like tell our family and everything and then we'll tell you guys but you guys are our family and we're telling you next <laughs> um I may share on some of my social media a little bit sooner, um, like my Instagram or maybe my um, Twitter, if you guys ever follow that. Um, if not, they're down in the description and go ahead and follow that. That way you can be the first in line to know what's going on. If ba baby Sperling is actually in the making. So yeah, thank you guys again. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe below to see if we get our big fat positive on Monday. And I will see you guys probably at the end of this week. I'll try to give you a later update in a couple days. But don't forget, beta is on the 11th. Keep us in your thoughts and prayers, guys. Bye.